This is Dysphoria, a game about personifying the experience of becoming a transsexual woman. It's no bullshit storyline leads you through four different levels, each of which correspond to stages in the transformation. Through shared intimate experience and frustrating mechanics, it attempts to cause you to feel the emotion and difficulty that someone like her feels about each stage. She also drives home the difference that it makes in her life through the progression of the story, which aids in the deliverance of her point. The narrative the author shares with us is a diverse experience that one wouldn't necessarily have outside of a video game. It furthers the queer gaming movement by providing diverse perspective that immerses the player, enhancing their ability to have critical thought on both what a video game is and who it represents. It reimagines the interface as a way to keep a player on a determined path for the purpose of its narrative, limiting the levels available, forcing losses on certain levels, and manipulating dialogue and game noises are all methods that Dysphoria uses to force perspective, to manipulate the narrative that the player experiences. Edmund Y. Chang states that, to date, most queer games focus on superficial content, same-sex sex, queer marriage, couple plots. Queerness in games is still largely window dressing. Menu-driven identities, a yes or no, date him or her, have sex with a man or woman choice. Dysphoria is a direct disruption of that narrative, driving to bring fresh perspective to video games. Agency has long been used as a term to describe one's ability to make choices that have an impact on an outcome. Dysphoria takes this ability away from the player, putting them on rails so as to control the experience the user has. With purpose, Dysphoria uses the lack of agency to force the user into situations that may seem alien, using only dialogue, sound effects, and the mechanics of each game to impact the player. As told by Chang, the tropes of queer appearances in video games has largely been superficial, though Dysphoria takes advantage of the projected perspective it gives by taking choice out of the matter, revealing a perspective that is truly representative of what she experiences.